Well, hello, hello, strangers. Yes, it's been a long time since I've done a haul. It's been a long time since I've recorded anything. And uh been a lot going on. Of course, you all know about our hurricane issues and all that stuff. But um, just getting back into the swing of things and restocking. So today I'm doing a huge haul. Um, I had to restock our refrigerator because almost everything got <laughs> thrown away. The, the uh, I, smart thing that I did is I took a cooler of all my meats and stuff. When we evacuated to my sister's up north, I took the meats with us. So we didn't lose our meats, but a lot of vegetables and different things that were frozen in the freezer, we lost. And we lost... Um, condiments all the all the everything in the bottom of the refrigerator so i'm taking a few we grocery orders to restock and do all of that but um this is pretty big so come with me on this little adventure it's saturday um november the 5th the 14th no 16th so um we have a uh, a day of the, I did the order on Saturday instead of Fridays like I normally do but here we go as you can see my little kitchen here is loaded I don't want to move you too fast but here we have a view of everything that's stacked up around here and this was about three hundred dollars of groceries um, we'll start over here of course I have the Tyson chicken strips that is a fan favorite of my family we have Tyson chick chicken strips um, and then some frozen spinach I always keep um, frozen vegetables in the freezer a stock of those so I stocked up on those I have about three of those um, here we have some turkey breasts for sandwiches and also I forgot to mention that in this order I have some of my Thanksgiving things that I'm gonna do not gonna do a traditional turkey for Thanksgiving um, I can't go out of town because I'm working the day after so we're gonna do um, turkey wings I've ordered a supply of those turkey wing parts and I'm gonna do those up with some gravy and seasoning and onions and so forth like that gonna cook those gonna do some mashed potatoes um, vegetables greens of course gonna do greens and cornbread and some of those traditional things but I'm not uh, I'm not doing a turkey I'm not a big fan of a whole turkey anyway I like the legs and the brown parts <laughs> so that's where we are with that I got some ramen noodles uh, soup I don't eat that we don't eat that like with the sauce in it I just like the noodles and I add my own um, seasoning and vegetables to them when I eat those we have some garden rotini noodles and I make a pasta salad with that so I'll be making that um, we have some turkey sausage back here and we eat those sometimes for breakfast I make those for my hubby but I'm also gonna make some quiche during the holiday so I bought that to break up into my quiches and and uh, you'll see I have pie crust and all of that here we have some Bob Evans mashed potatoes those will be going in the freezer those are gonna be for Thanksgiving as well no, I don't make fresh potatoes, <laughs> mashed potatoes. I know how, but being that I'm working and it's just one day, that's what it's going to be. And over here, I found this, which is something I've ne we've never tried before, but it's peanut butter and chocolate Jif. Um, thought that would be, because I don't like Nutella. So <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. This... Uh, it's something new to try 
on crackers or, or a sandwich. And then we have regular Jif peanut butter. We have some Sasson seasoning. This, I, I sometimes use that on meats and stuff, but my son is more of a fan of it. It hasn't too much MSG for me, but he requested that. I put it in rice sometimes as well, but it's good for making yellow rice. Here we have some paste picante sauce. Um, I got some candy yams, some turkey gravy for making my turkey wings. We have some um, shredded um, potato hash browns. Those little uh, patties, those are very good for breakfast and you can pop those in the air fryer and don't, they're not you know, greasy or anything, you just air fry them. They're good for breakfast. We have some chicken salad here. I'm gonna make that for hubby's lunch. We have a uh, Hawaiian punch flavored for bottled water. I put that in his lunch when he wants to have flavored water. We have pizza rolls for my son. Then we have some um, Dukes. That's, to me, that's the only mayonnaise. I love Dukes. Um, as I said, we are restocking the pantry with different things, uh, condiments and things that we had to get rid of. But um, that is Kinder's barbecue sauce. I actually like Kinder's better than uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. It's not uh, as sweet and it has more of a hickory taste. I, I don't know. I just don't. I don't um, care for Sweet Baby Ray's too much. It's too much sugar for me. But um, then we have creamer here, ketchup, we got mustard, we got some uh, Sweet Baby Ray's honey mustard. These things are mainly for the men. They like to put on their sandwiches and so forth. We have chicken dip. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just like... Um, Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's it's the uh, Great Value brand. Over here, we have bacon bits for salads and also for the quiche that I usually make. Um, salad toppers for me. And then we have some walnuts, some grapes back there. Down here, these are the uh, pie crusts that I mentioned because I'm going to make some quiche um, for breakfast tomorrow morning and then we have avocados my favorite we have chicken wings those are going to be for meals this week up top here we have some hibiscus tea I'm into uh, teas right now we have some uh, jello cheesecake for Mr. Willie's lunches we have a pan here. Let's turn this around so you can read it. But this is for, of course, Thanksgiving meals. I'm going to cook the chicken wings in those. Down here we have some Fair Life milk for cereal. We have chicken nuggets back there. We have uh, two loaves of bread, a pineapple, some paper plates and then we have some mox applesauce those are uh, for lunches and snacks as well moving on over to the more healthier side we have some vegetables for uh, cooking and salads we have celery here for cooking and for snacking we have salad mix spring mix on the dairy side, we have uh, shredded cheese. Um, I'm tr it's not shredded, this is whole block cheese, but I'm gonna use it and shred it when I uh, cook because that's better than buying the shredded cheese. We have sandwich cheese, um, a little turkey bacon here for breakfast. We have caress body soap. This stuff right here, I really love the smell of it. It's so good and it's very economical, I guess you can say. Um, but 
another YouTuber turned me on to this. And I'm not a patchouli kind of girl, but that black orchid and patchouli, it smells very good. And, it, and it's very good on your skin as well. We have an onion here for cooking. And some sausage. This is, now if you're not a spicy kind of person, <laughs> don't get this sausage. But it has us in a chokehold. We really like this uh, every now and then for breakfast and also for just cooking. I'll, I'll cut it up and put it in a stir fry or something. But it's got a good little kick to it, so be warned. And this one as well, this is another brand of uh, spicy sausage that we like. Over here we have Zolt, I guess that's what it's called. But I kind of, I thought I also saw somebody on YouTube with it. But I um, started using this just for my towels. And it ha and it's, it's like a bar of soap, but they have shaved it into um, little flakes. And you use it as a detergent. And it smells so good. It, it reminds me of back when I was a kid and, you know, line, you dry your clothes on outside. It has that kind of fresh smell. So it's really good for towels and and delicate, delicate clothes. But I bought two of them because I like them so much. I still have my gain, but this is really good soap. And I suggest you give it a try. It's, it's laundry flakes. It's just like <laughs> flakes. But, um, and then we have some Pro Health Crest um, soap. Um, not soap. Toothpaste. I'm a little rusty at this, folks. I apologize. Um, it's been a while. And then we have some meatballs here. Those I'll put in the freezer. Those are for meals as well. We have some mixed vegetables. Lots of vegetables here. <clears throat> Different things that we can use, I that I can use for meal prep. Meal prep, meal prep. Back here we have some yellow corn uh, chips for the salsa that I got. We have sweet potatoes. Um, some. This is something that I recently started liking. It's it's a vegetable burger, but it's a spicy black bean burger. Very tasty. I was really surprised. Um, we have some apple cinnamon Cheerios. Me and my son are into Cheerios now. I don't know why, but we, we both eat, a, eat Cheerios for a snack sometimes. We have a dozen eggs. We have a cake mix. I'm going to make a cake for Thanksgiving. We have coffee. And our favorite apples, Cosmic Apples. We have Fig Newtons. Those are also for lunch. Have uh, banana walnut bread that I do um, when I don't want to bake. <laughs> and then we have some Canada Dry Zero uh, Ginger Ale. And my husband, <laughs> when he was bringing the groceries in, he's like, oh, we're stocking up for Thanksgiving. Because I only get sodas like this for special occasions. So this is for Thanksgiving meals. We have uh, sparkling water, flavored water, and then just some regular water. I already have two cases of water in the pantry, but you never have too much water during hurricane season. And yes, we are still in hurricane season in Florida. It doesn't end until the end of November. So here we have it. This is a very big haul. And as I said, we were stocking up restocking from some of the things that we lost in our refrigerator from Mil Hurricane Milton. Things are getting back somewhat to normal in the area. We got our yard cleaned up this week. They picked up all of the trash and debris from uh, and, and tree stumps and so forth. But we're doing good. I'll just show you this. We are truly blessed because <clears throat> Lord only knows what it could have been like, but God watched over us. And that
that's my haul for this week. And I thank you guys for coming back. Thank you for being patient with me as we get back to normal. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a great day.